Have you ever been looking at car specifications and see an engine that says OHV and ask yourself, what the heck does that even mean? This time on Low Boost, I'm gonna go over what overhead valve means. Over the course of time, engines have evolved significantly from the 1930s to today. However, there is one type of engine that has still kind of stood up to the test of time and is still used to this day, and it's the overhead valve engine. Overhead valve is different from an overhead cam, where the camshaft of an, any single or dual overhead cam is actually located on top of the actual head itself. Overhead valve still has the valves on the head, but the camshaft is in a separate location. The most common one you're gonna see here today that still gets produced today is the overhead valve V8 engine that General Motors produces. And what you guys might know as would be an LS engine. But all of the V8 small block engines going back to I think the first generation one that they made in the 50s actually was an overhead valve. The overhead valve engine has a camshaft that sits in the middle of the engine that, that actually actuates lifters that push up push rods, press down on the valve springs and open the valves up. So actually in the head of those engines, there are no camshafts at all. It only has one camshaft in the middle. Over the head are the intake and exhaust valves that are used for combustion. That is why we get the term overhead valve. This episode is brought to you by Extreme Powerhouse. Whether you have a BMW, a Kia Stinger, an Audi, or a Ford Mustang, make sure you check them out. They have a number of performance parts for a ton of different makes and models. And if you go on there and use my coupon code that I'll put in the description below, you'll get access to some extra special discounts. Now, in terms of power, overhead valve engines generally produce a lot of torque, but they can't really be wound out as high in RPM as a dual overhead cam or even a single overhead cam engine. So they don't really get, unless you actually spend a lot of money to build them, they just can't rev out as high and they don't make as much power at the top of the rev range as a dual overhead cam engine. But in terms of torque, a lot of times those engines are unmatched. If you're interested in this kind of car terminology, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna maybe be making a bunch of videos about this stuff rapid fire. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, keep following along and hit the subscribe button. In the meantime, check out these videos that I already have ready to go.